Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at the Fortunable Survey site. Who's eligible to join in the first place? What types of rewards do they offer? And what's even more important, how much can you realistically expect to earn as a survey taker on this site? Is this a realistic earning claim we read on their homepage here? Earn up to $5 per answer? Well, we're going to cover all of these questions in this review video so if you're curious and would like to learn more keep watching and now let us get started right away all right okay so some basic information for survey takers here on fortunable first as a nice warm-up signing up is entirely free which i find positive there are no sign up fees or hidden costs they claim to offer fast and easy payments. According to this information here on the homepage, we're going to take a closer look at the featured reward types just in a second. And what I find positive too is that you can join Fortunable as a survey taker basically from anywhere in the world. I signed up from Poland, but guys, you can check if your country is listed as a supported country here in the top right corner. As you can see, Fortunable is accessible basically from any country in the world from the United States, we got countries like Angola, Argentina, Australia and Austria, then we got Bangladesh, Belgium and so on and so forth. And your task as a survey taker would be to complete questionnaires here on Fortunable and to share your opinion about various products, services and brands. That's how doing surveys online works in a nutshell. As usual, there are no right or wrong answers, simply provide honest answers complete the given survey or questionnaire. Most of them usually last between five and 15 minutes, I have learned, in some cases 20 minutes and more, but that's a rarity. And you would get paid upon completing the given survey or opinion poll. It is actually in a rocket science. What I find positive too is that they don't reward survey takers with redeemable points or with in-app coins. You would first have to store in your balance and later convert into real life rewards. I find that pretty annoying to be honest. Most money making and survey apps feature that annoying reward point system, truth be told. Instead, survey takers here on Fortunable get rewarded with real cash for their efforts, paid out via PayPal or Paysera, according to this information here. Now, guys, what makes Fortunable stand out as a survey site is this earning claim here on our homepage earn up to $5 per answer which is a pretty bold claim in my opinion, because usually you don't get paid sums like that, $5 per answer you give as a survey taker, but per completed survey. And only in some cases, guys, because I have tested really numerous survey sites and apps myself over the course of the last years. And what I can tell you guys based on my very own experience is that the vast majority of surveys you find online bring you up to a dollar or two but rarely more than that, provided, of course, you really qualify for the survey and you don't get kicked out of it right before the last question because your answers have been considered not valuable enough. The survey availability is actually one of the major downsides of this earning method, guys, and I'm not going to tell you any fairy tales. It would be doable to earn, I don't know, to make bank with online surveys because I believe this is pretty unlikely to happen. Don't fall for fake reviews out there on the internet that claim, that falsely claim it would be possible to earn, I don't know, hundreds or thousands of dollars as a survey taker online, guys, because according to my very own experience, this is extremely unlikely to happen. Anyway, so let us take an inside look so that you can decide for yourself if signing up on Fortunable is really worth a try and to your time or not. You can register really quickly by submitting a valid email address here. No rocket science, actually. They will ask you to verify your freshly created account by clicking on the confirmation link. They will send to you via email. But before you will be allowed to log in for the first time, they will encourage you to check out another service site and they run first by clicking on this button here and after that on another button. Pretty annoying, in my opinion. This one here, Digi Opinion. Well, I can say with 100% certainty if both service sites, Digi Opinion as well as Fortunable, are run by the same guys, but it seems pretty obvious to me because both have the same layout and design and overall look. Plus, their whole homepage is full of pop up ads here in Fortunable, which I find pretty annoying too. They're literally all over the place, seriously. But okay, anyway, so once inside, let us take a closer look at the featured reward types. First, I don't see any payouts via Paysera, but we got payouts via PayPal and via gift cards. 
payouts via PayPal can be requested once your balance has reached a minimum of $12.50, which is a fairly high and pretty challenging minimum cash out threshold, if you'd ask me. Also, withdrawals via PayPal may take up to five business days, which is pretty odd. And then we got gift card codes you can redeem for rewards online, like merchandising, digital magazines and event tickets, for example. These have a slightly lower cash out threshold of 10 bucks. And lastly, guys, before you approach your first survey, make sure you have completed your survey taker profile inside your account settings here in Frontable, because the more complete your profile is and the more information it contains, for example, about your preferences and behavior as a consumer, about your educational background, your hobbies and your professional status, for example, the higher also your chances of getting invited to these surveys more frequently. That's what I have learned after years of doing these surveys. You can start with questions about your household situation. And once you have finished the questionnaire, continue with the next department of your profile. Now, do not bore you. I'm going to complete my profile off screen really quickly. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, that's exactly what I was talking about a moment ago. The survey availability. In this case, a pretty poor survey availability. Even with a fully completed survey taker profile, it seems there are no surveys for me to take right now, which is a huge disappointment, to be honest. Well, I'm not a big fan of these survey sites anyway, because the survey availability depends heavily on your geographic profile, which makes this method pretty useless for those of you guys who live in countries where survey providers rarely look for survey participants, which applies to Poland, the country I'm currently located at, or at least a lot less frequently than in other regions of the world. Though I wasn't expecting this, I have learned that survey takers who live in regions like Western Europe, for example, or in North America, like Canada or the US, tend to get invited more often to these surveys. Well, nothing I can do about that unless I move to these countries. There's also the option to get invited to service via email, of course. They will send emails to you from time to time. If there's a survey that might match your profile, they will notify you of that. Nevertheless, guys, at the end of the day, I definitely can say that doing service here on Fruitstable is not going to work as a replacement for a full-time job or for a business. That should be pretty clear and obvious by now, even if you live in a country with a higher invitation probability. Some surveys may bring you up to $5. Yes, I wouldn't rule that out, although I believe payment rates like this are rare and in reality you may be able to earn a couple of bucks as a survey taker on survey sites like this one here per month at most, guys, but definitely not a full-time income and don't fall for fake reviews on the internet that claim doing surveys could make you wealthy because that's close to impossible, guys. Believe me or not, but it's close to impossible, all right? So, guys, Let's not make this video unnecessarily long and call it a day here. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later.